I'm going to show you a beautiful proof that there are infinitely many prime numbers using ideas of analytic number theory. So this is an introduction to analytic number theory in such a basic way that anyone can understand. And we're going to dive into this. Now, there are many standard proofs that there are infinitely many prime numbers. Euclid's one is famous. I've done a video on that in my channel. Check that out. Here, what we're going to do is we're going to use L functions and the Euler product formula. Okay, so I'm going to dissect everything. It's going to be super basic, even though it sounds fancy. We're going to start off with this following sum which is sum n varies from 1 to infinity of 1 over n, which is nothing other than 1 plus half plus 1 third, etc. This is a very famous sum. It's called the harmonic series. Now what we're going to do, there's only going to be two steps. Step one is we're going to find another way of representing this sum as an infinite product. And this is due to Euler. It's called the Euler product formula. So how does this go? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to consider the following product, 1 plus half plus 1 over 2 squared plus 1 over 2 cubed, etc. So of course, this is a sum. I'm going to multiply it with something. I'm going to multiply it with another sum, 1 plus 1 over 3 plus 1 over 3 squared, etc. plus 1 over 3 cubed, etc. I'm going to go through all the prime numbers. So the next one is going to be 5. 1 plus 1 over 5 plus 1 over 5 squared plus dot, 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 etc. Now here's the thing. What does the term of this product look like? Okay, if you expand out this product, how does it work? You use distributivity. So basically, we pick a term here, we pick a term here, pick a term here, etc., and we go on multiplying them. So suppose you consider the first, all the prime numbers, okay, p1 through p2, p3, p4, etc., all the prime numbers. So start off with 2. You're going to pick a power of 1 over 2. So 1 over 2 power a1, right? It's going to be some term here. You're then going to multiply it with a power of 1 over 3, 1 over 3 power a2. You're going to multiply that with a power of 1 over 5, 1 over 5 power a3, etc. So you're going to multiply out reciprocals of powers of prime numbers. Now here's the beauty. The beautiful thing is that the fundamental theorem of arithmetic, it's a famous result, it says that every natural number is uniquely a product of powers of prime numbers. Okay, so basically, if you look at the denominator here, you have a product of powers of prime numbers. There is one natural number for each such product. Okay, every natural number is represented uniquely as such a product. So if we multiply all these sums together, this is the general term. We're adding them all up. We're just taking sum n equals 1 to infinity of 1 over n. We're just taking that sum because every n is uniquely a product of powers of prime numbers. This is the Euler product formula. This is the Euler product formula for L functions and the Riemann zeta function in disguise. Okay, so that's what it is. Now, why am I doing this? Well, what are each of these sums? Okay, they, they look pretty complicated, but actually, if you see the trick, you'll notice that these are just geometric series. If we try to add 1 plus half plus 1 over 4 plus 1 over 8, etc., half powers of 2, powers of half, it's a geometric series, and it's going to be in general for a prime p, 1 plus 1 over p plus 1 over p squared plus 1 over p cubed, etc. It's a geometric series with initial term 1 and common ratio 1 over p. So it's going to be 1 over 1 minus 1 over p. That's going to be the geometric series formula. So what that means is that this series, okay, this series, sum n equals 1 to infinity of 1 over n is going to equal to the product for p prime over all prime numbers of 1 over 1 minus 1 over p. Now here's the beautiful thing. If there were finitely many prime numbers, then this right-hand side would be a finite number. However, you can prove that the left-hand side is not a finite number, it's infinite. In other words, the series, even though you're adding smaller and smaller numbers, actually becomes infinity. It's quite crazy. It's a super popular video on my channel. I'm gonna recommend you see that. It's gonna pop up on the screen right now. I'll see you in that video. It's right from first principles. It can be understood by anyone as long as you know how to add fractions. So see you there. That's gonna complete the proof that there are infinitely many prime numbers. If you wanna see Euclid's original proof done as Euclid did it, okay? Exactly as Euclid did it. Another video is gonna pop up on your screen here. I'm gonna see you there. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And if you're really enjoying my content, please consider subscribing on Patreon. They're exclusive perks and it makes a huge difference to my channel. I'm going to see you in that video to complete this proof of why the harmonic series diverges. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.